Hi, everybody. My name is Dr. Freddy Garcia, and today we are joined by Dr. John McLaren. Dr. McLaren is a board-certified chiropractic neurologist. He's also, also a fellow of the American Board of Brain Injury and Rehabilitation. He's also a member of the first cohort of the Master's in Clinical Neuroscience degree program from the Carrick Institute, which, by the way, is an amazing and challenging program, which I have to applaud you for. Dr. McLaren, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Garcia. It is great to see you. It's always great to see you. Now, Dr. McLaren, we're doing this quick video because you are presenting at the 2022 IFCN, the International Symposium on Clinical Neuroscience. Uh, your topic is Individuals Behind the Clinical Curtain, a History of Great Minds in Clinical Neuroscience. So my question for you, Dr. McLaren, is, is what inspired you to choose this topic and why is it important for our scholars to learn more about it? Well, you've got to think about neuroscience, the people who have gotten us to this point, the giants in the field. I have been through this program and, you know, we're wrapping it up here at the very end. I, hopefully, you know, all things considered, we get through it. Um, I got into my writing and the thing that we do initially, you just go, gosh, I've got to get through this curriculum. I've got, I've got to get the assignment done on time. And one of the things that I got into, it, it started with the spinal column. I looked at the history of the, the way the spinal column was depicted in architecture and in all sorts of effigies and writings and things like that. You know, who, who did this and why were they depicted that way? You get into people like Galen. Uh, you, so you go back to ancient Greek times, Hippocrates, all these people, and you discover, wow, you know, people have been doing things where they look at like spinal alignment, they look at the way the brain perceives, you, you, you get a, a figure where there's this lion that's been struck by an arrow and it's got a paretic foot, these kind of things that have been all cast through architecture. And, and, and so I started with kind of talking about that as a detail before I got into the, the clinical meat of my work. And then from then you get into things like Parkinson disease and you get into Alzheimer disease, you get into the, the academic exercises of like a brown saccard syndrome that, that we've learned, you know, from chiropractic school or, you know, medical school or whatever school you've gotten into, into uh, my Carrick Institute uh, graduate studies, where you kind of start to really apply these things that we learned that, that were originally text concepts. And then you get into the depth of it with the master's program. And, and I thought, well, who was Parkinson? I'd like to learn more about who Parkinson was. I'd like to learn who Brown Sicard was. And, and let me tell you, you know, especially uh, with Brown Sicard, that's a really, really rich history. What a great, great guy. Uh, and so those are the things I'm gonna talk about in my lecture is who were these people? What is the history of why we learn the things the way that we learn them now? What about Ferrier? You know, people like that, just, just giants that are the reason that we do things the way that we do now. Yeah, that's actually gonna be fascinating. And you're right, you know, we say all these names that are under the guise of conditions that are named after them. And we know, you don't learn about them. You don't know, you don't learn what made them amazing. And, and, and I guess you lose sight of the fact that those people uh, helped us become better and serve our patients over time. Absolutely, we couldn't be the clinicians that we are without the giants like Charcot and Ferrier and all of these other people. I, I will not by any means in the time that I have get to everybody. And so you naturally have to apologize to all these historical figures and I'm gonna probably miss some favorites from some people in the crowd. I'm gonna do my best. And you know, this is something I, I know Professor Carrick is absolutely passionate about. And uh, the more I have gotten to know him in this program, the more he's really stoked my passion for it as well. Wow, fascinating. Well, listen, you already got me intrigued for your topic. Uh, cool. To learn, to hear from Dr. McLaren, to learn about uh, this specific topic, again, the history of the great minds in clinical neuroscience, uh, visit karakitsu.com because he's presenting at the ISCN 2022. That's May 27th through 29th in Orlando, Florida, the International Symposium in Clinical Neuroscience. Dr. McLaren, thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. Thank you.